Ooh, what's this? Stand here. I mean, the button says press to win. I mean, I'm the host. Can I win? Nothing can go wrong. Oh, no, 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 wait! Ow! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the video. Uh, wait, wasn't there a... Um, was I dreaming? Is this real life right now? Welcome everyone to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make buttons do things when there's no redstone. Wireless buttons, basically. We're going to do some wireless buttons today. And it's actually really easy. You only need one command, two if you want to make things a little bit more advanced. In today's example, of course, we're going to be turning on a redstone light using a button. And that button's going to be placed on this block right here. Now, as you know, if you play Minecraft, if you have a button, uh, that, that's not going to work, right? That's not going to do a single thing. So we're going to need to get ourselves two command blocks. And if you want to learn more about command blocks and how to use them, say it with me. Click the eye in the top of your screen. You're welcome. So you want to get yourself a repeating command block. That is the bluish purple one. Set it to repeat. Unconditional always active. Grab yourself a green impulse, sorry, chain command block. Set it to chain. Conditional always active like so. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure you know what button you've got. It's a stone button in this case, and we want to type the following command. Execute if block, get the coordinates. I'm going to do a stone button, because that's what this is. It's a stone button, square brackets this time, powered equals true. Then just do control A, enter, paste it into this command block here. And then we're going to have another command that turns on the light, except this time we're going to do it in a slightly different way. We're going to do set block, coordinates, redstone lamp, and then we're going to do square brackets, lit equals true that is false now it's true we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it into the command block do a little space type the word run and then get rid of the slash at the front just like that and now what we're going to do is add another command so technically we're done at this stage but we're just going to add another command that basically means that our system only activates once we're going to do set block coordinates stone underscore button and we're going to do facing up like so face floor enter and the button's been twisted if you want the button in the same place just do another one and do facing i'm going to do east and now the button's facing the right way then we're going to just place this one into here like so and now magic now i know what you're saying happy how on earth do you get this back to normal just update it so if we press this button our light turns on update the block it turns off so yeah ladies and gents nice quick one today how to make buttons do things when they're not attached to things. There's no redstone under here, nothing at all. It's only activated by these command blocks. Very quick tutorial today. Any questions, leave them down below. For now, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed, learned something new, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!